Hello everyone. It's hard to overstate how humbled I feel to be awarded the Doneth Medal this year. It is with sincere gratitude that I thank the Geological Society of America and the Doneth family for endowing this award. I must also express gratitude to the efforts of the awards committee and to my nominator Brendan Murphy and my recommenders Kent Condy, Tony Prave, Scott Sampson, Damian Nance, and Stephen Johnston. My love of geology began as a small child, as my mother provided a continuous stream of library books and my father taught me to love the mountains. My formal education was shaped by an amazing set of mentors from my high school geology, physics, environmental science, and astronomy teacher, Gene Clark, who convinced me that life as an oil rig roughneck wouldn't suit me very well. To my undergraduate mentors, Ron Harris and Janie Radabaugh at Brigham Young University, whose instruction and inspiration provided a broad foundation on which my graduate studies could build. After six years at BYU, my family moved to Scotland where I pursued a PhD at the University of St. Andrews under the tutelage of Peter Kaywood and Chris Hawksworth. Peter and Chris were amazing mentors who provided numerous opportunities, invaluable instruction, and were very patient with my American brashness and tendency to spit the dummy. I also owe a tremendous debt of gratitude to Tony Prave, whose daily bus ride chats and unfailing willingness to read terrible first drafts provided a pattern of empathy and kindness I can only ever hope to emulate. After St. Andrews, I moved south of the border to Nottinghamshire, where I worked as an isotope apprentice for Dan Condon and Matt Horstwood at the British Geological Survey. I thank Dan and Matt for encouraging me to try something new and to garnering greater respect and understanding for the analytical methods on which our field so depends. In 2015, my young family and I moved to Perth, Australia, where I took up a research fellowship at Curtin University. My time there was greatly benefited through the association with Noreen Evans, Phil Bland, and Zheng Cheng Li. After five years down under, the time was right to return to Laurentia. Although my transition to Queen's University was impeded by the pandemic, I am grateful for the patience and camaraderie I have felt from my colleagues at Queen's. With the guidance of Vicky Remenda, Pira Pufal, Dan Leighton Matthews, and Matt Laybourne, I am confident the future is bright and full of opportunity. I would also like to thank my long-term colleagues and friends, Nick Roberts, Ross Mitchell, Chris Kirkland, and Carl Hoyland, for their encouragement and passionate discussions. None of my efforts would have been possible without the support and long-suffering of my wife, Camille, and our two rowdy boys, James and Finn. Lastly, I'm indebted to my current and past students and traveling geologist interns whose new ideas and enthusiasm encourage me both in scientific pursuits and in inspiring the next generation of Earth scientists and Earth stewards. Thank you again, Donut family and GSA, for this tremendous honor.